Jump into summer with savings at Lowe's. Make your outdoor spaces shine with a Greenworks 2000 PSI electric pressure washer. Clean everything from patio furniture to siding to the driveway quickly and easily. Plus, the 11-inch rotating surface cleaner helps you clean more flat surfaces in less time. It's now at Lowe's for only $169. Shop in-store, online, or through our app today. Lowe's, home to the best part of summer. Offer valid through 6-2 while supplies last. U.S. only. The following is brought to you by the Social Suplex Podcast Network. Welcome, everybody, to the 2021 Fantasy Social Suplex Draft. Jeremy Donovan here with a bunch of the hosts from the Social Suplex Podcast Network here to do our uh, annual fantasy draft here. We have Rich and James from One Nation Radio. We have Floyd from All Things Elite. We have Josh, number two, from the 8-Bit Suplex. We have Caleb and Maserati from Grave Consequences. And, of course, you have me and the young boy, Josh Smith, from Keeping It Strong Style. What's up, everybody? The returning champions. (laughs) Yeah, I was rigged. (laughs) Um, Well, we're glad to be back, too. Uh, Hopefully, you guys will vote for us because we definitely had the roster last year. Yeah, it, it it definitely wasn't a fa- it definitely wasn't rigged. Um, it was just that like who who else in their right mind will put a war games match on like four from the top in a in a card and think it's actually realistic? But whatever, Jim we Crockett, <laughs> Jim Crockett, nineteen eighty nine. Yeah. Hey, so There's so some... what ch- what channel are they on right now? <laughs> They're on uh, T- T- TBS starting next year. It seems like spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so. As you guys know, we're going to be drafting 12 men singles, uh, six women singles, and then six tag teams. Uh, we got our draft order that was uh, randomly selected. Uh, so One Nation Radio will be drafting first, and we have All Things Elite, 8-Bit Suplex, Keeping a Strong Style, and then Grave Consequences. And we are doing a snake draft, so then on the second round, it'll come back around. Grave Consequences will get the pick in the first pick of the second round. And we'll work our way through until we make all 24 picks wrestlers. And then we'll also be doing a round where we draft uh, play-by-play and uh, color commentaries at the very end. Oh, man. I haven't even thought about that. Yeah, I didn't even even think about that either. We'll we'll figure that out (laughs) when time comes. But I guess. So are we ready to to run it? We are ready. Ready? Ready? (laughs) Radio is running to the podium. (laughs) All right, well, let's um, let's get the draft started then. And uh, One Nation Radio, you're on the clock. Yeah. Uh, Rich, I would like to do the honors. Oh, they're ready. Oh, yes. right off the top, off the rip. Yes, with the first pick of the 2021 Social Suplex Fantasy Draft, One Nation, One Nation Radio selects Yujiro T- No, I'm playing. <laughs> 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 the best ball machine I finally get him I was like man we lucked out <laughs> <laughs> alright so uh, number one in the draft overall pick the current uh, AEW impact and AAA world champ Kenny Omega to One Nation Radio he's not He's not a AAA world champ he's AAA mega champ mega that's champ. different excuse me <laughs> <laughs> well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so then we're going to All Things Elite. With the second pick, uh, All Things Elite takes the broken neck assassin, Will Ospreay. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, wow. Oh, I, I didn't ex- okay. I didn't expect uh, Floyd to take uh, Will, but here we are. Floyd's not fucking playing this year. Floyd's not <laughs> fucking around. So I want to fucking win. <laughs> I didn't take... Cody last year. No, but you took what? Drew McIntyre. No, he, first t- last he took year? Okada first last time. I took Okada. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, now we're going to eight bit suplex. And make sure you guys are typing in your your picks on the uh, the draft board. Yeah. Uh, so uh, eight bit suplex. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the contingency from the eight bit suplex. <laughs> <laughs> we have decided to select the first tag team. In the draft. Oh, shit. The Young Bucks. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. All right. Look, man. Pew, pew, you know, pew, Kenny, pew, pew. the Bucks. Fired. Inside the top three picks. How about it? Oh, oh man. The Young Bucks. That, that was a, uh, I, I, I thought we might have a chance, but guess not. You did not. <laughs> 
no chance. However, we have alternate strategies. Good pick. Thank you. You know, anytime you can get the greatest tag team of all time, you got to do it. All oh, right. Man. Certain amount of strategy involved, Rich. There's just a smidge. All right. So now it's to keeping it strong style. Josh, would you would like to announce our first draft pick? I'd like to do the honors. And uh, we're taking, we're going a little bit off brand. We're venturing outside of uh, Japan. And with our very first pick in this year's draft, oh, we're hold taking. Hold on mute. I'm on mute? No, no, Rich needs to mute. Oh, uh, in this year's draft, we are taking Brian Danielson. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Not contracted anywhere, huh? Not contracted. Free agent, baby. Mm. All right, so then uh, Grave Consequences. Yeah, fuck you, Grave Consequences. <laughs> <laughs> You got to mute on the computer app. Uh, and all right, well, with the first <laughs> he's left the meeting of the uh, our first pick of the first round, we have selected Kazuchika Okada. All right. Okay. And now I guess we're back up again. <laughs> yeah. And with that, we have selected the reigning, defending, undisputed. Universal champion, the tribal chief himself, Roman Reigns. Mm. Oh, thank God. The head of the table. Thank God. That works out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's back to you keeping a strong style. So for our second pick, we are going to go. You know, we, we have a theme here. We, we just drafted the American dragon. Now we're going to draft the dragon, Shingo Takagi. Shit! Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys don't know how much I wanted him. Oh man! Uh, so uh, eight everybody bit. wants him. We're allowed to curse, right? I just got real upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go for it. <laughs> we mark these things explicit. Sponsors. That's good. That's true. It's like <clears> the <throat> picks that you, there's the picks that you know are the best, and then there's the picks that you don't care. You just want them. Uh, the uh, with their second pick in the draft, the contingency from the eight bit suplex <laughs> would like to select Kota Abushi. Oh, wow, it's a big one. James, that takes gold. That takes Golden Ace off the table. Yes. Uh, with my second pick, I'm gonna go with the expected Cody Rhodes. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> Adrenaline. It looks like it looks like Boise his main event already. Something, something, Cody Rhodes. Damn, that means like. So the first pick is One Nation Radio next, right? Yeah, they got two picks in a row. God, I know exactly. I know who the next two they're taking are for sure. <laughs> is it individually Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows? Yes, <laughs> individually. <laughs> <laughs> Still on mute. Yeah, I think, I think they're, they're deliberating. Del deliberating. So uh, let me uh, start the clock in that case. All right. Oh, uh, what's the clock like? Um... Thirty seconds. Oh, okay. It's more of a uh, just a thing in Jeremy's head that when he says it's time, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's, it's like gonna the, be a fast count. It's like the Royal Rumble, you know. They always change it up <laughs> after for every entry. We should get like that clock, that timer yeah. that goes down. All right, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, All two, right. so one. With, well, God, remember, we have back-to-back -back picks. So yeah. with the um, last pick of the second round, One Nation Radio is going to take John Moxley. Ooh. Okay. Death Rider off the board. All right. So you, you got, As such, he should be. That's a great pick. So you got 30 more seconds now for uh, your next pick. With the uh, first round, Pick of the third round, one issue radio taking Walter. Mm, oh, wow. that's that's a great pick right there. Yeah, I could have had twenty four straight picks and I wouldn't have <laughs> took him. <laughs> yeah, we we know Floyd hates Walter. I do oh. hate Walter. Irrational hatred one on one, taught by Professor Floyd Johnson Jr. And no, it's not irrational. He bores the fuck out of me. <laughs> Even the um, match against Dragunov, that was amazing. Let me get Peck. Oh wow! Oh wow! The bastard. 
off the board. This is going completely different than how I expected. <laughs> yeah, that is. All right, so we got our next pick. Josh, you want to announce it? You're skipping me. Yes. Oh, so sorry. Oh, my bad. My bad. Hold on. Yeah, I was, 8 I was like, is that's up. not right. That's not right. Sorry, 8 bit. My, excuse me. My bad. It, it, it is a Josh. Yes, Josh number two. Sorry, I got excited. Uh, the, the contingency from 8 bit suplex will take a brief moment to deliberate. All right. Got the clock going. <laughs> 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 oh, man. So a lot of big names off the board. This, this is like, this is like a, his 30 seconds should have started a long time ago. Just the fact that I talked over it doesn't affect it at all. Like uh, The 8 bit suplex would like to go uh, file a motion for Josh number one to kindly uh, be quiet. <laughs> but we're supposed to fill the air while you're deliberating <laughs> yeah but not you all right all right you're, 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 30 seconds are up oh shit uh <laughs> i'm just kidding uh the contingency from the 8-bit suplex would like to select the lucha brothers mm. oh god <laughs> that was our next pick <laughs> And I, I got a question because I think uh, you answered this, but if someone picks a tag team and a singles guy we want is in that tag team, we can't pick that guy anymore, or is that single still on the board? Okay. No, no the they're gone. gone. They're gone. Okay, cool. Yeah, we don't live in a fictional world. They're, they're not going to be double booked that night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so somebody uh, get 30 seconds going for uh, me and Josh here. I'm back. My internet had decided to go down, but uh, yeah, interesting pick so far, guys. I didn't even realize you dropped off. Yo. All right. So for keeping it strong styles, next pick, we're going to go ace. We're going to go with Hiroshi Tanahashi. Oh, wow. Pretty good pick. Hey, Grave Consequences, I don't know if you guys are missing, but I don't see your second round uh, pick on the board. Okay. I mean, we picked Roman. You okay. see it? I see it. I see yeah. it now. Yeah. Okay. I have to click off the cell, I guess, for you to see it. You guys also have to know that, like, I gave Jeremy two options, and I told him to pick. And before he, like, announced it, he didn't write back. So that was uh, as much of a surprise for me as it was for everybody else. <laughs> you, you said you pick, so. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was like, I was like, are you going to tell me? And then he's like, we take Tanahashi. <laughs> All right. So uh, grave consequences. All right. Well, we got two picks here. And as such, <clears throat> With our third pick of the draft, Grave Consequences has selected former NXT Women's Champion Io Shirai. All right, so Io's off the board. And right after that, we have selected former multiple-time Women's Champion Sasha Banks. Damn. All right, so it's going for the women straight out the gate. <laughs> he basically did what we do. Me and Rich did last year. He's like, we'll get Io, we'll do Sasha, and we'll just put that match out there for for the women. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Uh, All right, so keeping strong. So we got our next pick, Josh. I don't know who we're taking. Okay, the uh, committee from Keeping a Strong Style will be taking Andrade. El Idolo. This man took an Andrade. That's right. That's right. Rich thought he was going to get him on value on like pick number three or four. <laughs> <laughs> the contingency from the 8 bit suplex would like to select the EST Bianca Belair. I got to I got to mute my uh, mic every time Josh does his pick because it pops me every time and like I laugh. <laughs> All right. I appreciate your support. And I am going to go with uh, Mr. Actually, I'll go with FTR with my pick. That's a great pick. Yeah, if you want to have a boring tag match. <laughs> 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 All right, so now we're back to One Nation Radio. Yeah, so a lot of interesting picks off the board already. We got Kenny Omega. All righty. You, you guys ready? Yeah, we are ready with our next pick here. Um, so with our fourth pick, we will take former North American champion Johnny Gargano. Mm. Great pick. Thanks for the spoiler. I haven't watched NXT yet. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people that don't watch NXT, James. Join the club. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, 
And spoiler clip strikes again. That's yep, yep. my favorite spoil of all time. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so our next pick, uh, we're is gonna be a, a from the inner circle, Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara. Mm. Oh. Wow, literally my next pick was Chris Jericho. I'm gonna need some of the 30 seconds. <laughs> Man. Hey, you can take Sean Spears. He's right there. <laughs> the the only, the only number, only number you can take Sean Spears at is ten. So no, I can't do that one. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 this this new tag rule this year is very interesting because you know you guys took the sex gods and it's like you have them, but you can't split them up. So you got to find something pretty uh, compelling to do with them. So that's uh, I'm I'm excited to see what you guys do on your card with them. So. Well. I'm gonna go yeah, ahead and go. Uh, with... it, it's just like I, I think Chris Jericho is such so so big, and then Sammy's like your your your, your add on. So we'll figure out something. Try not to just stick with my favorites here, but I am Drew McIntyre. Right. Awesome pick. Hey Rich. That's hey Rich. That's what a I tell pick. you? I tell you he's been, he's going to get Drew in like one of these first few rounds. I figured he's gonna go in like the first three rounds. Yeah, I I, I kind of forgot about McIntyre. I would have considered drafting him. Yeah, yeah, I got me on that Chris Jericho. I was shocked on that one. So uh, eight big. That was very interesting. Very interesting development here. Wait. Eight bit suplex. We have Jericho twice. Oh, it's just over. No, it's not. Oh, it's just long. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh. Da, 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 da. Sorry, that was uh, the lead up music. <clears throat> the uh, contingency from the eight bit suplex would like to select. Momo Watanabe. What? How dare you? Wow. How dare you? <laughs> Who just took Momo? Josh You're not making two. any friends. 8-bit. <laughs> 8-bit just took Momo. Okay. We're in here with killers this year. It's not the same. It's not a game this time. <laughs> this year's different. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. All right. So it's too... We got, we got plenty of depth in the Josie world. <laughs> uh, keeping it strong style, it's on us. Somebody wants to run the clock on us while we just make sure we're good for our next pick here. Oh, man. Anybody else stay up late watching hockey? No. <laughs> I was up till three playing MLB The Show, but that's my normal schedule. So. <laughs> I was up playing or watching hockey. That was a lot of fun. Uh, All right. Colorado All right. Avalanche going to win the Stanley Cup. All right, guys. I think after uh, much deliberation, we're ready to make our pick. You, you want to announce it? Or you want me to do it? <clears throat> Yeah, um, so keeping it strong style, we'll be taking the tag team, the current six men never open weight tag team champions, Tomohiro Ishii and Hiroki Goto. Chaos. Are you sure you don't want the other member of that trio's team? He's right there. You can take him too. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to throw in Yoshihashi as a freebie, we will take Yoshihashi. <laughs> I feel like you know how you know how there's the the hey. uh, the free bird rule. This should be like the uh, the the um, freaking gun club rule. Like if there's a third yeah, team member that nobody wants, you just get him. I don't know why y'all talking bad about Hiroshi Tanahashi. Like he wasn't one of like the four best wrestlers in the B block last year. You mean Yoshihashi? Yes, is what I mean. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, but there's a lot of hate in this group. I mean, at the end of the day, he's still Yoshihashi. <laughs> <laughs> That has a chance. The guy that loves Yano. I can't wait till you take Yano in the twenty. Toro rounds. Yano is the king of pro wrestling. <laughs> He's more entertaining than anyone out there. Oh God! Anyone? I yield my time. So, uh, grave consequences. Okay, so I do have a question in regards to. I'm assuming that they had at least two tag matches in the past year, and that being the team of uh, playing my cards here. Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. So that's an interesting the, one because they are technically no longer. They're not a tag team anymore. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> all right. With that news, then we have selected Proud and Powerful. Hmm. That's a good pick there. All right. Bye, LAX. Let's see here. We have also selected the tag team of Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. Wow, the New Day. New Day? 
Okay, so that brings it back to keeping it strong style. It looks like we're going to need just a moment to uh, deliberate. Listen, none of you guys better take Tommy Dreamer. He sent me a message on Twitter once. <laughs> he better be there. Hardcore match. Tommy Dreamer, Toriano. That, that's not. Yeah, it looks like we are ready. You know, Tommy Dreamer, Toriano in a death match wouldn't be that unlikely to happen. It'd be uh, a pretty good match, actually, I think. Personally, I might die from excitement. <laughs> All right, so keeping it strong style <laughs> has our next pick, and we are going to go with the former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, the ticking time bomb, Hiromu Takahashi. Y'all bastards. He was sitting right there. I Rich, thought about I him. Rich, I told you he wasn't going to last that long. I told you they ain't going to make it past <laughs> yeah. keeping strong style. I told uh, you. Uh, they ain't going to forget that he's me. hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we might be able to sneak him on the humble. <laughs> like, let me let, let me go ahead and get you know. Let me go get you know, you know one what? of the goats. Nah, nope, absolutely you know. not. <laughs> Rich, absolutely not. There yeah, the we'll draft your injured ass. Rich is sitting there at the end of the line with his double picks, thinking he's living off the fat of the land, <laughs> not forgetting that the rest of us over here in the famine times, we, we gotta we gotta hustle for our shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. 8-bit? Uh, man, this is a tough... We're going to get into the tough spot of the draft, but there is a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully. Uh, I'll let you know when I figure it out if it is a good plan. But uh, I'm going to go with the TNT champion, Miro. Mm. That's a great pick. Mm. No. <laughs> Not to... Wait, yeah, wait, you, I think Darby Mia would. Actually. You're not muted, Hold James, on. if you're trying to deliberate. No, don't stop him. <laughs> thank, some, uh... thank you. <laughs> uh, this, this year, there's there's a lot less, like, uh, you know, all of us, like, talking, because I think, like, the stakes are just really high, and we're all deliberating so much. It's kind of funny. It's just I don't like you. <laughs> uh, that, too. We're, we're six rounds in, and the New Japan show hasn't picked a woman. <laughs> well... Is that oh. a surprise? It's not at all. <laughs> hey, to, yeah. be, to, to be fair, the One Nation Radio who covers Joshi do, hasn't taken a woman yet either. Mm, fair enough. That's because they're they're taking a, a page out of the uh, Keeping a Strong Style book. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just going... like I don't I don't I'm not going to be scared off by like the fact that y'all ran up and took like the top American women or or women wrestlers in America. Like just not going to be scared off by that. Like I'll figure it out or we will figure it out. So I'm going to go with the current NXT Tag Team Champions MSK. Okay. Great. That's a good pick. Good choice, good choice. Someone needs to pick up that third rascal. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all eight bit right there, and and, and I and we One Nation Radio is running to the podium. Yeah, uh, uh, with the uh, last pick of the sixth round, uh, One Nation Radio takes Mayu Iwatani. Okay, and with the first pick of the seventh round, One Nation Radio selects MJF and Wardlow. Mm. Mm. Uh, that's interesting. That is a surprising pick for you guys. Not well. We Not have really. uh, we have. Remember, remember, we got Jer- Jericho and Guevara. You should have uh, took. Yeah. You should have took MJF and Tully. <laughs> <laughs> They've never had a match where they tag together. Only thing keeping you from that. Look, you could have took they? Dax and Tully. No. <laughs> no. That, that no. O- only person that wants that is, is Dax. <laughs> Find you someone that loves you like Tully, like uh, like Dax loves Tully. All right, so who's next? Uh, All Things Elite? Yep. Okay, uh, I'm going to go with Lance Archer. All right, the Murder Hawk monster. Ah, that's Pick. a good one. Murder Hawk. Like he's got his match with Miro coming up. That's going to be an excellent match at Double or Nothing. They're going to beat the shit out of each other. Nothing like some big men slapping meat. I'm going to waste no time. The 8-Bit Suplex knows who they want, and they will get their man. The 8-Bit Suplex contingency would like to select Ryu Lee. Oh, oh you got to be mm. kidding me. That was our next pick. Nice. <laughs> Damn you. Oh, that's so good. Damn it. We're here with Killer. Yeah, Josh time. number two is uh, doing really good, I think. Not Thank a good you, enough. Caleb. I mean, you already picked quite a few teams that I wanted. Yeah. 
Well, you know, I had to surpass you with, uh, you know, a number of episodes covering Impact Wrestling on a podcast, <laughs> and now I have to kick your ass at this. Fair enough. Oh, uh. We're scrambling over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody run the, the clock on us. Oh, man. Oh, wait, it's our turn? Yes. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, give us a moment. I'm wondering if James and Rich are on a on another call or maybe they're lip reading each other <laughs> no, that's another another call. Call. Another no. Call. we have two we have a chat we have this chat and we have a separate chat and we're muting this chat when we're deliberating well i, I just like to pretend you guys are uh, lip reading instead okay <laughs> that's a great visual gag for an audio medium caleb yes five seconds yeah jeremy i'm okay with that we could do that all right Actually, you, you take your pick between the two that you mentioned. I don't care. Either one's fine. Okay. So for Keeping a Strong South's next pick, we are going to go with Kyle O'Reilly. Good pick. <clears throat> it's a good one. Yeah. So it's gotten kind of quiet in here. It's, <laughs> it's a it's, lot of tension right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I guess we're up. Yeah, you are. All right, cool. Uh, we will take <clears throat> Oscar. And along with that, I'm going to be honest, this next pick is entirely Greg. And I may have trouble enunciating the name, but forgive me. Let Greg do it then. Uh, that's a terrible yeah, it's funnier idea. this way. Yes. <laughs> um, Utami Hayashita. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Who, who drafted Utami? Grave Consequences. All right, Caleb, I want you to spell Hayashita. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, H-A-Y-A-S-H-I-T-A. And no, that's not on a Google No, page that's not how you spell it. That's not how you spell it. Greg misspelled it then. It don't, it okay. don't matter. <laughs> they said it right. <laughs> no, 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 it's high as shishta, but whatever. Um, oh, yeah. I missed an H. Okay. Blame Greg. Blame Greg. I'm just reading, I'm just reading what was on the sheet. I'll fix it in post for y'all. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So I guess uh, that brings the pick snake uh, back to keeping it strong style. Oh man, this is a tough one. Um, keeping it strong style, we'll be taking the switchblade J White. Nice. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? Is that a bad pick or something? There's somebody else that's available. That's so like I figured you would have took it, took them instead of uh, J. But okay, was it Naito? Yeah, yes. we, we passed on that. <laughs> <laughs> we literally passed on that. You guys are just falling. Falling in one of them. Everybody's trying to tell me that night so she was lit last year. I'm well, how fucking about it now. Listen, no normally, normally I, would just, I would normally discuss something like this, but we were literally like, do you want Naito or you want Jay? And I figured, you know, we invest on, you know, the star that's on the rise, not uh, the one that's uh, going on. On the youth. <laughs> No. On the wow. good, on the good you know? news. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Besides, Naito might come back. <laughs> there's some. There's some hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, come back there's gonna be, where? There's gonna be some some true hardcore New Japan fans that listen to this podcast and be fucking furious. <laughs> Naito didn't make the top eight <laughs> I'll just say this. All they got to do is take that anger and turn oh. it into positive energy for Tetsuya Naito's knees. That's a lot of energy. Oh, man. Or for Shingo Takagi. Jesus. If you're quite finished, we'd like to make our pick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, this, Sorry. Is, this, is, this is still a podcast. You got to remember that. Jump, okay, you if you don't, hey, listen, if, if you don't want to win, James, that's on you. You so can't you can, do both? Well, <laughs> I think I'm producing great content right now. Okay, because go the, for it. My bad. With the, go ahead. With the, next, <laughs> with the next pick, the contingency from the 8-bit suplex would like to select Adam Cole, baby. It's a uh, great baby. baby. You made a decision for us baby. on that one. We were considering him and another baby. gentleman. Is, All it right, Michael, is it his brother, Michael Cole? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the hangman. Definitely not. Well, so Floyd, you so said the pick. Floyd, you said, did yeah. someone? Did someone just take? Someone took Hangman. Who took Hangman? I, Floyd. I took Hangman. The, the, the oh, AEW wow. guy. You know, yeah. You no know. thrills. Just 
threw it out there. <laughs> well, y'all were talking. I didn't. Just, I was like, okay, I hope he stays. I hope he stays. I hope he stays. <laughs> All right, so it's on to One Nation for their for their two picks. Okay, James, with, you want to go ahead and announce the, that one? Yeah, with the uh, last pick of the eighth round. When, whoa, whoa! What just happened here? What just happened? What? Um, like I just had a random. What round are we on? We were in the eighth round, right? Yeah. Our seventh round pick just vanished and out of thin air in this thing. Control Z. Why am I Control Z? And I didn't touch the shit. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. It's, it's fixed I guess now. I it's touched fixed. it. Yeah, I fucked it up. Okay. Okay. I'm like, who's who, who's doing this? All right. So with the last pick of the eighth round. One Nation Radio is taking Darby Allen. That that was who I was deciding between. You're goddamn so, right. We're taking Dar- Darby Allen, one of the hottest new young main eventers in the business. I was I was deciding between Hangman and Darby. And uh, we have the potential. We have the potential to do Darby Allen versus Walter. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's like someone's gonna die. Um, uh, with the first how, pick of the. How many? How, how, I'm sorry, guys. How many men singles picks did we get? Twelve. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, go ahead. With the ninth pick, or sorry, with the first pick of the ninth round, One Nation Radio takes Thunder Rosa. Mm. Come on down, Thunder, with the paint. Or without either <laughs> <way>. <laughs> All right, so it's... Approved AEW what, what, does what, what not... An, oh, I'll go for it. I was, I was going to say, I was gonna say, what an awesome pick in Thunder Rosa right there. And, and you know, she can just ha- hang out with Mayu Watani and see, you know, that's a possible match right there. Uh, with my pick to prove that AEW does not hate women, I will take Bailey. Great. Promos Wait, that carried the Bailey? industry, some say. Wait, what? What'd you say? You Bailey, said to prove that AEW does not hate women, we're taking Bailey. Bailey, huh? Bailey. I, I hadn't took a woman at all. That's what I was saying. You know, AEW doesn't hate women. Who I, said Bailey's carrying any industry? Someone on that? Twitter said this months ago, and we were like, "He said no." This this person on Twitter said that Bailey is cutting promos that is that are that is carrying the industry, and oh, we okay. were like, "What?" I haven't anything on YouTube. I was gonna say I had exactly. nothing to do with that. I'm just I, I have matchups in mind, and I'm picking matchups. It's been an inside. It's been an inside joke for a few months now because it's like she. I never heard anything about her promos ever. No, there's nothing on YouTube for any of her promos. I haven't seen shit. Ding dong. <laughs> That's what she did all last year. I Ding literally dong. think right now, Roman and Drew are the only. I think right now Roman and Drew are the only two like main of like main roster WWE guys have gone in the whole entire draft, <laughs> which is not good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're it's, on. It's uh, fine. Eight bit, right? Uh, yes, Jeremy, that's correct. The contingency from the eight bit suplex would like to select. AEW Women's Champion Hikaru Shida. Good pick. Nice. Strong pick there. A bit didn't come to play, but came to oh, win. Let me mute. I see that. All right, sorry. So it's on keeping a strong style. Somebody want to get us on the clock there? Jeremy, I'm going to leave it up to you. Out of those people, you can. Yeah, let's go ahead and take them now. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, we're good. So for our next pick, we're going to take the King of Swing, Cesaro. Ooh. Nice. I like that pick. Cesaro, Cesaro doesn't get gets that six-week push, buried, and then gets drafted as a single. Who knew? <laughs> hey, bro, we know we all know the skills are there. Yeah, with the right booker and the right card, you know, you can draw some money with that kid. <laughs> Looks like Caleb Baldwin just joined us. It's on us, right? Yep, grave consequences. You got the next two picks. We're going to take uh, Orange Cassidy and Finn Balor. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They took him quick. <laughs> Orange Cassidy and who? Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Wow. Okay. Two really good ones. Okay. We're going to need a, a moment. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Start start the clock in and f- fill the air. We kind of have an advantage because we can go back to back so I can just make a match. Oh, that's true. Revealing the strategy right away, Greg. It's not a very complex strategy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it works. Maybe. We'll see with the fan vote. I'll probably... <laughs> we shall see. That's time, Jeremy and John. Okay, Jeremy's going to make the pick here. All right, so for our next pick, we are going to take the submission master, Zach Saber Jr. 
the second I say, hey, Rich, we should look to take dangerous <laughs> techers, this fucker takes work. All right, take the right, off the board. God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Dang. Tisk, tisk. There's so many good names out, out there. Like, this is insane. I, I don't I don't need Zack Saber Jr. rolling around on the mat on our card anyway. You got any other moves, kid? You know, I, I, I'm tired of the wrist locks. You know, <laughs> I don't like I don't like those luchadors. They just do head do, do a flip, <laughs> head scissors, head scissors. <laughs> I wait for one somebody to take AJ Styles and almost. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a good pick, but not right now because the contingency from the 8-bit suplex would like to select Rapongi 3K. All right, Rapongi 3K, 3K, 3K. Floyd, it's to you. Yes, and all things elite will take their role model and only working dentist, Britt Baker. Britt. Fuck. I wanted Britt. I got my matchup. <laughs> Bailey versus Britt, the role models. Oh my god, that that is ugh. my money's on Pam. You know, in a shoot, uh, yeah. Are we, shoot, are we next? Pam. All right, let's 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 go ahead and close this down for deliberation. <laughs> this is the craziest year we've ever done. This this is much harder than the last two years. Yeah, this is this is rough. <laughs> uh, so yeah, one nation here on the clock. Oh, okay, I do have a question. Go, go. Uh, I'm not taking them. So, uh, or I was thinking of it. Samoa Joe. I don't think he, he wrestled did, last year. No, nah, he, he did not wrestle in the past year. Otherwise, we would have already smashed him up. But All righty. One Nation Radio would like commentator. to announce our next election. So um, our final pick of the 10th round, I'd like to draft Isaiah Swerve Scott, the leader of Hit Row. Mm. Favoritism. This is, this is <laughs> ridiculous. That's, it's really ugly. Uh, hey, Rich, he told me he liked me better than you, but he didn't know how to tell you. <laughs> And then um, for our next pick, round 11, we'll take the. <laughs> so they'll want to need some time to deliberate here. But yeah, a lot, a lot of picks. Great picks so far in the draft here. A lot of big names gone. This is, this is very exciting, guys. I'm enjoying my first draft experience so far, guys. I didn't now mean to. I didn't, more, but I'm eating. So I didn't mean to, uh, you know be beating you guys on my first try or anything <laughs> oh hey let me tell you josh i i know you probably have strategy like last year i thought i was killing it and then i had to put the match card together and i was like okay this doesn't go none of this goes <laughs> this is like this doesn't work <laughs> i'm basically like you know the the casino scene and hang on righty one nation radio is back with our 11th round pick all righty so um we're going to go ahead and take oscar which one? They already took Asuka. It, Asuka of WWE. She was picked. Uh, yeah, she yeah, was picked. picked. Are you taking Venny? I don't see that. Wait. Oh, okay. Grave I see it. Okay, I see Grave Consequences in round Okay, nine. I didn't see that. My bad. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, I was worried there was another Asuka. I was like, there's another one? There is another Asuka. You know, you know Venny that's I, in, uh, that, that did uh, AEW? That's Asuka. In Japan, she goes by Asuka, all capitalized. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's the original Oscar, but obviously the lesser known Oscar. Mm. Okay. And I, and Rich, you might want to mute. We're, we're hearing James through your audio. Yeah, we're hearing James. Yo, we're getting all your second. strategies. We're going to use them against you. Have we gone over the 30 hold seconds? On. This seems like a lot of time right now. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> well, they accidentally made a duplicate pick. Yeah, so. Oh, that's right. Mulligan. I see. What happens if time runs out? Do you just get skipped? Uh, you just uh, you get you get penalized, which means uh, we just tell you you suck or something. I don't know, <laughs> never, never really discussed that. We we bury you for thirty seconds. <laughs> we all have to. All right, we are back with our you. with our correct pick. Sorry, we we were getting buried, but uh, we would like to select Tommaso Ciampa and Timothy Thatcher. Mm. That's not bad. Strong not white bad men. All. Yes, tough, tough white, white men. men. Come on down. All right, and I am going to go with the current NXT Cruiserweight Champion, Kushida. That's a great pick, man. Solid. 
And the, like, I'm just I'm looking Feel at the, the list of names that, that, in the air. There's so many names that exist out there that I'm just like, holy fuck! Like, how are they not you know gone? I, Literally, I have the like roster somebody of... that hasn't been drafted yet, and there's someone listening to this like screaming at this thing like, how the hell hasn't this person been taken? Sorry, guys. Sorry, We're under I pressure. Sorry, I didn't take Joe Coffee. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, so I what I did was I wrote out a list of going through all all of America and then like New Japan and then people that I thought also could be drafted. That's also non New Japan uh, um, Japanese men's wrestlers, right? Like certain people, like I wrote because I figured they'll get drafted, but like I wrote in the slash like OTB for off the board, like for character concerns, like. I didn't even bother writing them Coffee Brothers. Didn't even bother. Look, I know somebody really wants to wants us to draft Dom Mysterio, but I I just don't see it. Oh my god. Right, who's who's next? Uh eight bit? Eight bit. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the committee or the contingency, they're uh taking some time here. Yeah, so the uh contingency from eight bit suplex would like to select Somebody. The Grizzled Young Veterans. Great pick. pick. I nice. thought about those guys. See? See? They got the Grizzled Young Vets. We got the the real Young Vets. Or the real Vets that are Grizzled. So, <laughs> I think we came out ahead slightly. You know, balding white men. You know, okay. that are tough <laughs> with muscles. I believe that um, we're, we're next, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to make the next pick for us based off our discussions. We will be taking uh, deep into this one, the king of pro wrestling, Minoru Suzuki. Not Toriyano. I'm going to let that slide for now. (laughs) All right, grave consequences. Just throwing this out there, guys. Goldberg's still on the board. (laughs) (laughs) Grave Consequences uh, is going to go with Mustache Mountain and uh, Hybrid 2. Well, I don't – has Mustache Mountain even teamed together? According to the cage match, Trent Seven and Tyler Bate? Yeah, they've been on NXT UK. I, was yeah, saying, I don't know. anybody watching NXT UK? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who? Tyler Bate and Trent Seven. I'm, they, haven't I'm on... tat, they haven't tatted together in like a year. I, it That's... says a match on uh, 422. They defeated uh, Noam Dar and Shaw Samuels. Okay, where's the second match? It has to be two two matches within a calendar year. Yep, minimum. Oh, two. I went yeah. through it to look to make sure. I, I, I didn't know, know that rule. Otherwise, uh, we would have took Sting and Darby, but we can't. Mm. He's only had one match. Okay. Um, mm. Take a moment. Think on it. Pray over it. <laughs> You're on the clock. <laughs> but don't take too long because uh, time's a wasting. You know what? Maybe I'll get a little crazy. Maybe I'll do a rematch that I haven't seen in a while. The Viking Raiders and God. That's you're taking War Raiders and God. Yes. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid everyone was going to make fun of me for picking God, but I still love them. So. No, oh, no, no one cares about that. We just wanted the War Raiders. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I, thought I, I, I honestly thought I could get G.O.D. like way later. Yeah, that's how we that's kind of how we feel, too. All right. So it's on uh, keeping it strong style and we have our next pick. We are going to go with Kento Miyahara. Hey, dog, I ain't worried about no Kento Miyahara. Tell him tell him to jump promotions. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is technically he's working for Josh and Jeremy now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get this man paid. And with that pick, keeping oh, the strong man. side, we we only have one men singles pick left. So now it's Impressive. on eight bit. Better pick somebody good. There's a lot of good guys left. It, that's the thing. There's so many good guys that it's like, I mean, how, how are you gonna mess it up? I mean, there's literally so many. <laughs> oh, um, we've seen people fuck drafts up like nothing. <laughs> Before, <laughs> no, not, not amongst on, us not here, on, but not on this network. <laughs> <laughs> so, with is... uh, our next pick, the contingency from the eight bit suplex, would like to select El Hijo del Vikingo. Oh, that's a great nice. pick. Fuck you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> 
he was clearly I sent that man a plane ticket and everything. Well, he took the payday, but he's not coming. Hope you got the travelers insurance. Disloyalty. It, it's amazing. Like some of these names I'm looking at the board, like they went like number one, number two in the past three, and they're like not even drafted right now. It's crazy. Uh, I'm just going to take the phenomenal AJ Styles. Oh, that's a good one. You, you don't want almost? Um, <laughs> no. Uh, no. He can uh, stay where he's at. Okay, so with the uh, with the last pick of the twelfth round, One Nation Radio selects <laughs> Tetsuya Naito. <laughs> we'll go ahead and take a name value at, at, at number twelve, right in the middle of the draft. You're just going for merch sales now. Y- oh know. yes, we need some of that money. You know, you know, give it to us. It, that's going to be weird because there's going to be a group of voters that are like, I want to vote for this card because Naito's on it. Exactly, uh-huh. Mundo. Uh-huh. Exactly, uh-huh. Mundo. Smart but guys. But yes. then they're gonna go. I don't want to take. I don't want to vote for this card because it's One Nation Radio, and they've been hating on Naito for <laughs> the past three years. So this can be hey, difficult. They, look, look, they, they, they might be like, more disappointed because he'll be like fifth from the top. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. He's gonna be in the mid card. He's, he's gonna. He's gonna be on the pre-show. <laughs> the material. Very Why belongs. is Naito jobbing in the curtain jerker? I don't understand. So. With the first pick of the 13th round, One Nation Radio takes Max of Bloods, Bandito, and Flamita. Yes, sir. Now, Bandito, come on down. Bring your homie. I know a lot of you guys don't follow Ring of Honor, but Bandito and Flamita just did break up a few weeks ago, and they're feuding, actually. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. It's yeah. just so hard because you got to watch every promotion. Damn. I've not watched WWE. Okay, give us one moment. That was one that we were kind of like a little on the fence about because we're like, does it count? Because I bet you if someone else would pay them outside the team, they'd probably still do it. But it's a tough one. But it is a national promotion, so I don't know. Yeah, they had, they had a match like two or three weeks ago on TV with Flamita cheating to beat Bandito. Fucking heel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is difficult. Yeah, dude, this this year's draft's really tough. So we're in the thirteenth round. Yes, cross the halfway point. Wait, so I thought we still had one more men's pick left, Jeremy. So how how are we in the thirteenth round? Have we already had twelve picks or no? We we've had twelve. We've had yeah. We we took one tag team already. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, we didn't. We haven't gone straight men's. I don't remember who we. T- oh, I remember who we took. Okay, yeah, yeah. One Nation Radio taking their time. Yeah, guys. I mean, this is an abuse of power just because you're the flagship. All right. Person. All right. All right. We back. <laughs> heard, you, heard you talking shit. Yeah. Um, uh, one Nation listen. Radio. Actually, let me check one more. Oh. Speaking of shit, uh, I have IBS, guys. Why would you tell us that right now? <laughs> It's, Some kind a, of strategy. You know, it's okay. a medical condition. I mean, yeah. it's not anything to laugh at. All right, we bet. Okay. Um, right. we, we actually had to cancel uh, the plane tickets for, for uh, two gentlemen and actually send them to the other ones. So uh, with the next pick, One Nation Radio selects the Street Profits. Okay. Damn you. Okay. That was literally – I was about to jump on and say Street Profit. I'm, I'm, I'm no. upset now. Uh, no, we need some brothers in here. You know. Exactly, and I'm gonna go with another African American tag team. I'm gonna go with Jonathan Lee, uh, J- Jonathan Gresham, and Jay Lee. Oh, oh, Foundation! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Same thing. Wow. Damn it! We wanted them. We thought we'd get them on value later. Fuck. That's I a literally really good look. Pick. I, got all, I got the rosters of all three coming I mean, up. I personally don't mind losing those gentlemen, so that's what well, That's because you hate Jonathan Gresham. I wish I had another pack. I wish I had another partner doing this shit sometimes. Damn you, Rich. Uh, speaking of I Jonathan Gresham, the 8 bit suplex contingency would like to select Big Mama Pump, Jordan Grace. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. So, who is it's uh, on keeping a strong style? Yes, that's correct. Okay. I, I think we're ready to, to make that pick. Uh, Jeremy, you want me to take that singles? Yeah, go for it. All right. So we are going to be taking our final singles pick of this year's draft. And for our 12th men's singles pick, we are taking MDK, Nick Cage. No, Nick Gage. 
<laughs> Y'all doing death matches and shit. <laughs> Yeah, let's wow. see. Just. Let's see. The, what are you gonna do? Uh, Nick Gage versus Hiro- Hiroshi Tanahashi in a death match? Don't Josh. worry about it. Don't you worry about who we're doing. Josh goes. I, I want to do a death match this year. We need. To, we need to get a death you know, match. Is, is Zack Saber Junior gonna gonna go ahead and take the glass? You know. <laughs> Hey, you know, we, we're trying to have a diverse card. We want to have, you know, something for everybody. We'll have some Puro. We'll have some Lucha, uh, some technical wrestling, and then some deathmatch wrestling. You know, we got to fit the whole audience. Yeah, so fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, it's on Grave Consequences. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Brian Cage and Sami Zayn. Oh, nice. Thank you. I am running out of people though. It's just getting a little tense for me. <laughs> really? Because I mean, I, there's a I got hundreds of names still listed here. It's kind of crazy. I think if, to be fair, you've watched more wrestling and watched more <laughs> wrestling than I do. Um, I'm at a disadvantage because um, I don't watch a lot of the other promotions. I mean, Doki's still on the board. I, you hey. know what? You joke, but I was looking at it. I was Do- like, Doki, hey, Doki's, with... Doki's a good pick. Doki is Doki fucking said good wrong things about all him. this year. <laughs> hey, somebody's got to eat that pen. He's got that pipe. Uh, Josh, you want to? You, you okay Don't with that? Yeah, they're laying the pipe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am. Um, yeah, if you want to go ahead and uh, uh, announce that, Jeremy. Okay. So our next pick, we're going to go with our second tag team in the draft. We are taking the United Empire of Jeff Cobb and the Great Ocon. I told Damn you Ocon shame. was going to draft you, James. I, I, we knew he was going to be drafted. I didn't think he was going to be drafted and stapled to uh, Jeff Cobb because I would have liked to have gotten Jeff Cobb, but it is what it is. How insulting would it have been if Ocon got drafted before Naito? Very. <laughs> it was close. All, all the things Look, I've done for this motherfucking it, company it could have in the happened. wrestling world? It was real close. I think you guys just drafted Naito, what, last round? Yeah, uh, it, yeah, yeah. it could have happened. <laughs> it's so insulting. That's crazy. You should put Ocon higher on your card than Naito. All right, so we're on to 8-bit. Jeez, don't remind me. I'm working on it. <laughs> you trying to slide by with the banter. I'm going to let the banter go when I don't know what's <laughs> next. <laughs> um, oh, boy. This is tough. Very, very tough. But I'm going to go with give me. Got 10 seconds. Preparing to bury. Preparing to bury. Give me Jurassic Express, the team of Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Uh, Damn you! you. <laughs> they were, were going to go. It's a great point. one. I, no, that was like my pick. <laughs> wow, that sucks. This draft is so much more competitive than like the, other, the past <laughs> all, all years. Them. Yeah, this is so the- much more competitive. Like that was coming out of my mouth. I was just like, "Oh, okay, I get to get Jurassic Express now." Huh? Yeah. Put the clock on. I actually got to look around for a minute. Yeah. And it's just, I only, it's, I only, it's I only crazy. have one like, more tag spot too. I'm, I'm filling up on tags. Just, yeah. What happens if we run out of tag teams to choose from just because we don't watch every promotion? <laughs> you better go to cage well, match. I got that up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> better start Googling. Google is right there, sir. <laughs> Wait, where's Caleb? Is Caleb not helping you? No, he had to go to work. I did this work last night. I was up to like 4.30 uh, working on uh, stuff, trying to make sure I got all the tags. Because last year, I ran out of tag teams. I was like, that will never happen to me again. That was embarrassing. <laughs> That's what's uh, kind of happening. Because I came up with like a huge list of uh, wrestlers. And I was like, this is this is enough. Well, okay, so here's the thing, Greg. Also, you can pick mixed tags and you can also pick women's tags to be your tag teams as well. So don't 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 feel like you're completely lost. Oh, okay. All right. I probably that mission to you now because now I'm gonna hate your guts if you in like four rounds. It's probably not gonna help me out too much. <laughs> okay. But then but then remember you gotta use them on your card as such, so mm. I think that's the thing that's throwing me off the most is that if someone takes a group, you lose those wrestlers. Right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that kind of uh hurt me a little bit <laughs> <laughs> all right floyd you're, 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 you're all right i was gonna say i was just letting him finish what he was saying <laughs> i'm gonna go with uh reina gonzalez or raquel gonzalez yeah that's what she goes by now nxt women's champion yeah the female stan hansen 
Do you guys remember when she would uh, work the loop? Oh, and she would wear the chaps and throw around that cowbell. Yes, yeah, the first May Young classic. Did y'all pick? Yeah, I took a Raquel Gonzalez. Oh, okay. So is it uh, One Nation Radio next? Yes. Yep. All right. So the 14th pick, um, One Nation Radio selects Pete Dunn. Mm, the Bruiser weight. Mm. Yes. Hey, Come Rich, let me, let, let me get the next pick because this is like crazy to me how this person is clearly everyone would acknowledge is a top 20 talent in the world. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I know who with, it is. with the first pick of the 15th <laughs> round, One Nation Radio is selecting Rick O'Shea. <laughs> I knew that's who it was. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, all, all throughout this, uh, I literally draft, thought I, I could like, get him later. <laughs> I threw Ricochet's name out there so many times to Jeremy, and Jeremy's like, let's go ZSJ. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that's how far I'm Yeah, that's man. Far I, 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 I think Ricochet's stock is at an all-time low right it now. It is. It really but is. But change of environment, change of, of opponents, like, we know this guy. We know what he has. So uh, I think getting him as the 15th round selection is a, a steal of epic proportions. I was on the fence between him and Jurassic Express and went Jurassic Express because I thought I might get Ricochet on the back end of this. Yeah, like it's crazy, man. It's crazy how like, you know, if you were not, if you were just basically banished to the Shadow Realm, like regardless of how talented you are, it sucks. Like you can just be like forgotten about. All right, so who we're or, on. Or, not, or just not cared about. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that comes into it as well. Hey, you might even like it. This is a complete AEW homer pick. I'm going to go with Jade Cargill. Oh, fuck you. I, was, I wanted her at number six. <laughs> <laughs> I told James, I was like, we might be able to steal Jade. This is a futures pick. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we're on to 8-bit. Le suplex, 8-bit, Amiret, Seleccioner, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens win the 16th round? Yeah, this you know somebody else says there's somebody else that's around ain't even picked two. That's like I can't. Yeah, when he, does, when he doesn't get, yeah. you, there is somebody that that be wearing that absolute bullshit. Oh my god! Like, are you talking like about this Shane McMahon? Slid, this, yes, Shane. Yes, yes. Exactly. There's no. There's a there's Sonata. a talent that's <laughs> right. <laughs> there's a talent that's on the board right now that like in the past every year One Nation Radio's picked him up as like this like. I can't believe we got him, you know, sort of pick. Like, we're going to, you yep. know, fuck I know exactly him. who you're and talking like, about. Oh, and too. he's just sitting out there. Yep. <laughs> can't touch him with a 10-foot pole. sitting out there. <laughs> Actually, there's two you. people like that. I'm not even thinking of the same person. I know who you're saying, but there's actually someone else. Yeah. Like, there are some people that just, like, we that slash, that, that, that hyphen in OTB off the board, character concerns. Can't 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 deal with it. Can't have people asking me, "Hey, round nineteen, you selected such a why? What what made you lose that pick on that? Why'd you go with him? Do you are do you like? I muted myself. Hey, um, all things <laughs> all things elite's fifteenth round pick is missing in the uh in the uh doc. Yeah, yeah I didn't click oh, off of it. Good. There you go. All right, okay, so... see it. I forgot who who you picked. Okay. A beautiful lawn is a beautiful thing, but it can be a lot of hard work. This Memorial Day weekend, check out John Deere at Lowe's. Choose a John Deere zero-turn mower and you can cover a lot of ground fast and get around trees with ease. Or if you've got more on your to-do list, check out a John Deere lawn tractor. Add separate attachments so you can mulch, haul, bag, plow, and more. Shop in-store or at Lowe's.com. Lowe's, home to the best part of summer, U.S. only. Oh wow! So we're so it's on keeping a strong style. Yes, it is keeping a strong style for their seventeenth uh, round pick. I'm sorry, ahead, Jeremy. Uh, you can take yeah, the- yeah, seventeenth round pick. All right, so keeping a strong style, we're going to select our first woman of the draft because all the boys love, love, love Julia. So keeping Damn. a strong style is taking Julia for our first woman's pick. That's a great selection. Thank you. Y'all got to make sure y'all have hair clippers. Y'all got to keep Julia's, um, you know, the edge right. (laughs) Copaganda. 
Yeah, y'all, y'all, you know, keeping it strong style rules with the cops. <laughs> when uh, for tag teams to be considered a tag team, when was the last time they had to have teamed? Within Best the last teams? year, and they haven't broken up since. And two matches, right? They have to have two yep, matches. Yep, and two matches. Okay. Oh wow! Yeah, they don't count. We can't pick them. Yeah, we were thinking about picking up the Usos. They haven't even teamed since March right, last year. Right, right. <laughs> you should have saw, dude. I had, I had the like the the meek meal hand on his head, shocked face when I was like, oh my god, the Usos cannot be picked in this draft as a tag team. That's I will tell you, the, I would have taken the Usos where Drew Mac, where I took Drew McIntyre, but then I realized I couldn't take them, so it was kind of crazy. Because like they've only they haven't they've only tagged like one time since like March or something like that. Because of the injuries and whatever. Hey, Greg, I wow. think you're up. Oh, my turn. Uh, we are going to go uh, Finn Juice and the Acclaimed. Ooh, mm, that's good. Nice. I was stressing because I was like, who are the tag teams that are left? Like, I, I was messaging Caleb. <laughs> I was like, give me tag teams. You better start looking on, pulling up websites and look at the. I got ro- like five different tabs up. <laughs> the roster profiles. <laughs> but yeah, Finn Juice and the Acclaimed. Okay, so that means it's our turn next? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, um, keeping a strong style with our next pick, we will be taking the much heralded tag team of Pearl Legend, Strong BJ. I see y'all courting the grapple votes. <laughs> <laughs> there, I wow. see y'all courting the grapple audience with that pick. There's someone I just noticed that I have to take. We're just picking solid teams, man. Well, the 8 bit suplex uh, will be picking next. And the contingency for the 8-bit suplex would like to select Charlotte Flair. <laughs> <laughs> that was my Vincent McMahon. Yo, like this, this, the whole situation around Charlotte is I so t- toxic. I bro. totally forgot about Charlotte. It's so toxic. I totally like, forgot about her. Like, you can argue that she is at worst the second greatest woman's wrestler of the modern era, like in American wrestling. And, like, this is just. Who wants her? It, it's just, it's just. I, I, I was so worried about it when the Becky Lynch thing happened when she rose up and like, is she gonna be Roman Reigns to death by the fans and like it over over that period of time since then? It's it's worse now. Like it's worse. Oh man! <laughs> wow. Oh, so okay. I, I've looked. But great I've pick, seen. Josh. You're right. Great pick. <laughs> I've looked and I've scanned. It totally is. forgot I about her. See this name. Man. So y'all have to tell me if I just missed something. Uh, I want to go with Seth freaking Rollins. No, you didn't miss anything. He hasn't been. That's who we were talking. That's who we were talking about. As far as like somebody is still around. We were talking about Kevin Owens. It's like I can't. This person has slid because that's that's what they've done. That's what has happened to him over the last couple of years. He wasn't. I was, I'm like I was it. just shocked. I had someone else in mind, and I just saw he wasn't on there. I was like, I have to take him. I'll figure it out. All right, so wow. I would like. I think Seth went like the first three rounds <laughs> last year or something like that. He went really early, I believe. I'm yeah. just trying to keep the conversation going. No, no, no you know, no. silence is not good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, we don't need dead air. But yeah, I think yeah, <laughs> Seth usually at the last couple times we've done it, Seth has uh, gone pretty quickly. Yeah, uh, and he's like one of those people. I will always say. You know, they always talk about how WWE buries you. You know, he buried himself <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> he made people like just hate him. Like he was so hot when he beat Brock Lesnar. So he's hot. certainly not the people's champion. That's for sure. Yeah. Someone's I, I, taking I, the rock. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. And, does, and it was does funny. The, does the video? Does the video appearance that Dwayne Johnson made? At uh, Slammiversary for the Hall of Fame induction of Ken Shamrock count as an appearance so yep. that Dwayne Johnson right. could be drafted. Yep, 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 yep. With the, are you muted when you said that? <laughs> okay, so I was. With, okay, all right. Just want to make sure. Okay, so with the 16th or with the last pick of the 16th round, we are taking Tyler Bate. Mm. Big strong Tyler boy. Bates. Tyler Bate. The big strong boy, Bob and Bang. It's All amazing right. how many uh, UK guys are not going to make the list just because of uh, everything that's happened <laughs> in the last year. You mean Absolutely. everything they've done, sir? Everything they yeah. did? <laughs> yes. It's their own Man. people. Hey, so you're telling me hey. we got 
we've got the possibility of Pete Dunn and Tyler Bate again. Are you kidding me, James? Yeah, possibility. Okay, Man. and with the with the first Man. pick of the seventeenth round, we are taking Bandito. Nice, <laughs> yes, that's sir. a great pick. No. That, that, with me. That's somebody that we have contemplated a lot that we were tossing around when we were looking at our singles, but just or remember, we tried to get him with Mexican blood and then like it didn't work out. Yeah, we this is the one H radio is a bandito friendly pod. <laughs> yes, yeah, because yeah, last year we drafted bandito and flamita together. Yeah, I'm trying to think of somebody else's and uh, well, I'm not gonna say it out loud, I'll be quiet. I'm this, let's meet the mic, Rich. I'm going to go here with my 10th man pick. I'm going to go with Santos Escobar. All right. The, uh, see, you know, he's former cruiser. He's not the cruiserweight champion right now. He is not the Spoiler cruiserweight alert. champion. Spoiler alert. What the heck? <laughs> I haven't watched NXT in three months. Come on. <laughs> um, so that was all things elite. Uh, so 8-bit, you're up. This is where it starts to get tough. This is the part of the draft that it really shows what people are paying attention. And you know what? We're here at the 8-Bit Suplex. We pay attention. Because with our next selection, the contingency of 8-Bit Suplex, would like to select the heart and soul of Impact Wrestling, the owner of the Boston Knee Party, Eddie I don't know. Edwards. Are you about to draft? <laughs> I thought they were taking Tommy Dreamer. I thought he was taking Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> Bro. I thought he was going to take I, Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> I I wrote him when I went through Impact. I wrote him in the list because I was like, he'll get drafted because, because I know I know the second Josh will absolutely take him at some point. <laughs> Tommy or, knows. Or, or, listen. Or Caleb would have taken him. Oh, Tommy, Tommy knows when his time will come. And it's just not yet. But you got to go with Eddie Edwards. Who is, uh, you know, pretty synonymous with Impact Wrestling, if you ask me. So, uh, keeping the strong side, we're going to make our next pick. We're going to take our second woman's draft pick, and we are going with Tam Nakano. Hey, man, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm drafting. Trying to, They're trying to run Julia and Tam. Y'all <laughs> bastards. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Let's be clear here. Don't say y'all because I don't even – I've never seen a match with either of them. It's Jeremy you. who did this. <laughs> Josh hasn't watched a single wrestling match that had women in it ever. <laughs> ever. Yo. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe this man took Tam. <laughs> it was going to be him or me. If, if, if anything, like if it helps, I told him to take her next, so there is that. <laughs> So, uh, Grave Consequences, you got the next two picks. We're going to take Shinsuke Nakamura and Eddie Kingston. That's not a – oh, I was like, that's not a team. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> two picks. <laughs> two picks. He's got two picks. <laughs> well, you know, it warms my heart to see Shinsuke Nakamura getting picked up because I, I was going to feel bad if he didn't get drafted at this point. I almost picked him a couple picks ago, but decided to hold off. <laughs> All right, Josh, you want to tell them our, our fourth tag team pick? Yes. Uh, keeping it strong style, we'll be taking the CMLL World Tag Team Champions, Caristico and Mystico 2. Man. Flips. I, I, I thought about putting Caristico on my thing, but I left the longest like, All right, man. Old Sin Cara, we'll leave it alone. I know he's had a couple good matches still this year, but whatever. Good pick. Deep pick. That Fantastic Mania pick. <clears throat> So for those that maybe haven't listened to 8-Bit Suplex before, you know that we cover Impact Wrestling, and we also cover video games. So based off of that second portion, we are going to select the spouse of an avid Twitch user, Mr. Alistair Black. Rich, I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Can he be picked? Has he wrestled? Pick. He's wrestled yes. Good question. Year. Oh, let no, me look. no, he's no, he's been wrestling. When? Okay. When was his last match? <laughs> when? <laughs> when? On this yeah. week. I, 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 don't say, on this I don't know anyone on here that watches more WWE TV than me. And I'm looking. I, I ain't on. seen him. <laughs> I was like, I <laughs> all right, his last. Uh, he's good. His last match was October. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, really? Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I thought he was dead. I was like, dude. I was like, I have no. 
Okay. Thought he quit the business. Like <laughs> he was like he was, on my like on do not draft week. list because Wasn't he on TV I thought this he week? couldn't. I don't know if he's on TV this week, but Wait, I know his said, last match was, uh, was October. October 2020? October 2020, yeah. Well, I thought we were starting from May. Like the beginning of our May eligibility was May 2020. If it's May 2020 uh, oh, yeah. and it was October, October 2020. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. I can't do. Okay. I need a calendar in front of me. All it right. happens to everybody. <laughs> You're good. It's been a year, you know? It has been, yeah. All right, so then it's on to One Nation. I believe it's on to all things elite, as you hate me, Jeremy. That's messed up. <laughs> oh, I, was, I skipped you? Uh, okay. Let's do Legato del Fantasma. The other two. <laughs> Is that Joaquin Wilde and... Um... Yeah, I forget their names. They're the two other guys with Santos. Is it, it's not... It's right. Joaquin Wilde and... What the fuck is his name? That's kind of messed up since I'm drafting him and I don't actually know his name. You should probably know his name. Probably should know his name. I'm tr- I'm scrolling down the WWE who, who page. Who are we trying to find? <laughs> the other half of Legato Nail Fantasma. Oh, as a tag team or as a single? A uh, tag team. It's Joaquin you want them? and All right, uh, Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza. Okay, because I already took uh... I already took Santos Escobar. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, so. Nice. Oh. Next year, are we going to do trios? We could. I mean, technically, you can this year. <laughs> well, <laughs> you just got to draft them. As I just did in you know, my last two picks. Yep. Well, you had help. They gave you the names. Well, no, I, I said their name. Their tag name. He did. I, mean, yeah, he gave I said the tag their tag name. name. I was done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One Nation Radio. All right. With the. Oh, we almost had something there. <laughs> uh, yeah. This must be really compelling audio for people. <laughs> yeah. I'll try. I was like, I was trying to feel time earlier. I was like, uh, with the last, with the last pick of the 18th round, one issue radio takes Ray Mysterio Jr. What? Oh, wow. Why wouldn't you take Dominic? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But I cannot. I will never care Don't about Dominic. <laughs> wow. Ever. Ray, Ray Mysterio, great pick. I can't Fuck believe Ray Mysterio. Matter of fact, Dominic yeah. is banned from the building. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that Rey Mysterio actually went after Seth, but whatever. Wait, someone took Seth Rollins? Yeah, like a couple rounds ago. Uh, yeah, Floyd, Floyd took him yeah. in round Floyd, 16. Yeah. yeah. And like literally I have no plans for him. I just took him because I, was I like, can't I wait for that Seth, that Seth Rollins Cody match is going to slap. I, you know what? He's <laughs> he's one of the people I'm thinking about. I was thinking about putting him against. Thank you for uh, stopping me. From doing something stupid. Three stars. Three stars. <laughs> like, ain't, ain't that a match that was like, wow, this is 2018. You were so mean? much more hyped for you, it. You ain't going to do Will versus Seth? Yeah. You, you oh ain't going to do God. figure out who's the best? Oh, I, didn't, I, I mean, honestly, I had Osprey and Hangman as my main. <laughs> not a bad okay. match. That's funny. He took, he took Cody and he's still not going to main event him. Oh, oh uh, hell. amazing! Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. That's what you I've just never, said. This I've man is doing said. Drew versus Cody. We already know this. <laughs> this man is doing Drew versus Cody. Poor Let's get it out the way now. I'm glad you see, Rich. You get me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is Cody supposed to do in that match? Suffer, get carried, and blade. In what match? Oh. Drew McIntyre versus Cody. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's like before. Drew McIntyre is his, Drew McIntyre in this case would be his Drago. You know, he'd be the guy that's so big and just like beating the crap out of. Him. You so, know, because so Cody like likes said, to be Rocky. I, so like I said, get carried in Blade. That's who, <laughs> who's who's picking right uh, now. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, One Nation uh, Radio has it's, it's all one. things elite. Did you take a second? Oh, one? oh no, we. Oh my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, I think one glass. Yeah, we, kiss we do have a second pick. I forgot about that, yeah. but we know exactly who it is. Actually, no, we can't. All right, we can't draft him. All right, well, you guys need to do something. It's been a long time. <laughs> but we got some good audio. With, out with of the it. first pick of the night, uh, uh, well, sorry, with the first pick of the nineteenth round, we are taking Rhea Ripley. Mm. Whoa. Gonna rehab her, huh? We're gonna clean up everything that's gone wrong on the main roster. <laughs> you guys sent me that clip. I was like, this can't be the same woman. There's no way. Has um has Bull Nakano wrestled in the last calendar year? <laughs> Monsters. No. 
I want to take bull. <laughs> Intrigued. Okay. And I got caught up in conversation. I was like, you know, forgot. He's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I know who has wrestled in the last 12 months, Joss. Who? Toriyano. Different Joshi legend. I don't. From, I don't. From all Japan women's in the 80s and 90s. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Guess where you're going. I think I know it is, but I don't want to. Well, I'm not drafting her, so whatever. I want to say it's it. I think Rich might fight you over that. <laughs> maybe if it was uh, <laughs> maybe if it was 15 years ago. Uh, nah, we, 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 we've already got a plan. Hmm. And it's actually like right right there so i i don't i don't really think we we've been moved at all off the women plan yeah i don't know shout out to the women's wrestlers for getting better so we're, we can just wait and still get good <laughs> what you got it Floyd? What, was it that was me. i'm gonna go ty conti oh okay. not hokuto no Ooh, I, don't, I don't know nice pick hokuto hasn't wrestled in years okay i don't know who I mean, it is then we talking about aja kong that's who we were talking about. Aja Kong yes. has stayed wrestling. But she That's stayed wrestling. Aja Kong. Yeah, she never stopped wrestling. We never said it. We, yeah, yeah, she never, we never. Oh, okay. I thought it was like someone who like made a comeback, and I was like, oh. Just oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, she's still active. Gotcha. So someone took Ty Conti? Yeah, that was Floyd. Did. Or, yeah, Floyd did, right? That's a good pick. Yeah, I, I would have. I love. I don't Ty know Conti. enough women, so I was, and I ran out of time, so I was just like, okay, what's a woman name I know? So, there you go. <laughs> I'll tell um, you, there was done. no strategy behind that pick. <laughs> None. <laughs> uh, the the eight bit suplex. All we really need is one pick. Chris Bay. Mm. Good pick. Solid pick there. Yeah, that's right. a good pick. Yeah. All right, keeping it strong style. We are going to take our third woman of the draft. We are going to take Arissa Nakajima. <laughs> This y'all throwing your own Taylor Risa Nakajima. <laughs> yeah, right. Unbelievable. All faithful. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know if she's still good or not. I'm the only person that fucking knows that. And yeah, she she's, still, last, she's, she still a, she's still. She's still. She's still. She. She's still an incredible woman. She's still a top 10 woman's wrestling talent. But it's just like y'all don't even fucking know. Y'all just know. Just like I just, every year, snatch. Cage matches your friend. <laughs> All right, Grave Consequences is going with uh, Shayna Baszler and Konami. Ooh. Mm. Did you take Konami? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bloodbath. <laughs> Damn you. I'm a Konami anyway. We, we wasn't taking Konami anyway. So, you, you know, well, her services yeah, will be used well, elsewhere. Well, the scary thing is if you take if he's taking Konami, then who else is still available for him also to get? So we need to, like, get on, get on, the, get on the horse now at this point. I'll tell you right now, you probably won't pick the other ones. Oh, we, oh, trust me. We, we got plenty. I got a long list. I just want to flood that. Okay, so keeping it strong style, um, for our next pick, we will be taking uh, All Japan's Violent Giants. Are they, like, really tall? I've never heard of them. I mean, I've heard of them, but I they have no idea what they look like. If they're called giants, are they like tall? Is that a thing? Not, not, a, not especially. Okay, they're just yeah. Okay, they're just raw as fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's a name I've heard Joe Lanza say, and I'm like, I was like, are these like two six seven Asians that I've never heard of? And I was just wondering. Let's see. Let's see. Eight bit suplex. What are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do? You know, I know. Uh, I know she was the One Nation Radio uh, Stardom Wrestler of the Year, but I'm gonna go ahead and scoop her up here for eight bit suplex. B Priestley. B's not a bad pick. It's a good pick. It's a good pick. Name value right there, there too. There's two E's in Priestley, uh, fl- or uh, Josh. Okay, I'll fix uh, James. Are we? Do we need to do tag teams so first? Floyd, it's on you. Oh, Tessa Blanchard. That's strong mind. 
strong. Controversy. <laughs> hey, when's the last time Tessa oh, wrestled? Oh, no. She probably hasn't wrestled, has she? No, 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 no. She had an indie date. I looked this year. I put her on my board she and her off the board. She's on, she, she, she wrestled on indie date uh, in, uh, in like the fall of last year. She wrestled Kylie Ray at and, Warrior and, and, Wrestling. I was going to say, anybody going to pick Kylie Ray? She might not show up for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is tough. One Nation yeah. Radio. One Nation Radio next two. It's coming down to the wire right here. All right. With the. With the last pick of the 20th round, One Nation Radio is selecting quite possibly the best 18 year wrestler I've ever seen, AZM Azumi. Mm. Yes, sir. And with the first pick of the uh, 22nd, or sorry, the, the, the 21st round, we are taking Shuri, the hardest kicker Someone I've ever will... seen in women's wrestling. <laughs> who will kick your block off. He shows up wearing red. Back to Floyd. Yeah, I got my numbers kind of mixed up. Hold on, fixing that. And I'm gonna take fire and flavor. <laughs> nice. I know the ones in Impact they will get drafted. <laughs> my draft, my big board has been correct all throughout this whole thing. Uh, it's Kara Hogan and what's the other chick's name? Tasha Steele. Tasha Steels. Oh, okay. Tasha Steels. Stills is I had it written down because I I won't I knew I could get them late but I just S T E E L Z for steals. It's yes, like sir. I feel like uh, I'm getting a steal uh, with this next pick. It's the Boo. contingency. Boo that transition. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm a dad. Okay, I have to make transitions that way. It's just the way it is, <laughs> and also the way it is, is that I'm going to take. Powerhouse Will Hobbs. A transition. Uh, Dan is in my hmm. ear right now telling me to do this. Hey, if you're, if you're going to go so ahead I'm gonna and take Will Hobbs. Got to use it on. Does he still go by Will Hobbs or is he Powerhouse Hobbs? And I don't remember. Uh, Powerhouse, Hobbs. Powerhouse Hobbs. Powerhouse Hobbs. Okay. Oh, sorry. I thought Powerhouse I mean, was, the, was the moniker. So did I. No, uh, when he uh, went to Team Taz. He uh went to, went from wheel to powerhouse. Ah, okay, yeah. So powerhouse is a state of mind. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, it strong style. <laughs> okay, right. and it's our turn next. Yeah. So you you want to go with, with that, Josh? Yeah. So it looks like for and this oh, is our James. final tag pick, right? Uh, yes. So for keeping a strong style. In our final tag pick of this year's draft, and I'm kind of shocked that nobody has them, we will be taking the best friends. Wow. Sleeper pick. Yeah, I ran out of space for them. Mm. There's always space for the best friends. Chucky T and Trent. (laughs) Question mark. (laughs) Trent? (laughs) Can Uh, I have some Trent? We're going to go um, Keith Lee and uh, Bobby Lashley. Wow, okay. That's that's not a team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Every time down the snake board, Josh is making the same jokes, but you're going to get mad at me for a steals transition? Get out of here. <laughs> All right, so it's on uh, keeping a strong style. We, we definitely need uh, time here for our next pick. Okay, hold on, Jeremy. I'm gonna look at the P. I'm, I'm gonna look at the PWI top 100 women. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is just you. Like, let me know what you want to do. I had a spot, so I'm taking them because I like them. Let me do uh, Ember Moon. You're not and... up. You're not. You're not up yet. It's not your turn. <laughs> I thought he just said all things like sorry. So nope. somebody else can. Take sorry it. about that. There's two picks in front of you, bud. I thought so. I don't. I wasn't really even paying attention. I was researching, and I thought I heard the, our team name, my team name. Did anybody that. take Io Shirai? Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. She was. I think she was the first woman off the board. Yep. Bye. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It looks like I think. I think we have our pick. Look, the Anna J is right there. <laughs> she is, but we're we're, uh, we're not going with the Anna J. We're going to go with the Starlight Kid. <laughs> oh, nice Starlight mm. Kid. 
There's nothing funnier than watching James's reaction to these picks that Jeremy's thrown out there. It's the funniest thing no, in this draft. No, no, I was happy with that one because like she's been so great like in the last like six or seven, maybe even eight months. It's like, yes, I'm glad she got drafted on this thing. She deserves to. But it's also funny, it's like this is the first year that Azumi and Star Like Kid both got drafted in this draft. So I was I was that's why I was smiling. Um yeah. nice. But that's cool. Like one's 19, one's 18. No one, no. great. Lou Fisto's out there. <laughs> yeah, y'all can pick her up. Yikes. Jeez Yikes. Louise. Oh, my God. You can finally have that Cody versus I'm Lufisto disappointed match. we didn't get to draft Anthony Agogo. Mm. But that's okay. Well, I'm sure he'll be a hot property next year. Has he had more than one match this yeah. year? Uh, Actually, he... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's had two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's had matches on Dark, right? Yep. Yep. I knew he had one. I didn't no, know. No, he, he hasn't had any dark matches, only on Dynamite. Oh, big money. You sure? I I thought he had I could have swore he was on Elevation. What, he had a promo on Elevation. Oh, so you so you might have been on like the second or third dark. You don't you just, you just <laughs> know which dark exactly. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Hopefully he's on Rampage too. Yeah. For the uh next pick, the eight bit suplex contingency. Would like to take a tag team that represents America's mitten, the Motor City Machine Guns. Nah, James White pick. knows his impact people that will get drafted <laughs> again. Yeah, Machine Guns were, was a team that we were considering for our last pick. And I want to say, just say too, for the Machine Guns, because there might be people saying, "Well, hold on, because uh, you know Shelly's not been on," but they didn't stop tagging. He's just on a temporary hiatus because of the pandemic. But they are still a tag team. They have not broken up. My count is off. I can't realize I, I, either I didn't take someone or I did, but my count is off. I hate this. Well, figure it out for it because you're up next. Okay, I pick now, right? Yep. Yes. Oh, okay. Ember Moon and shots at uh, Blackheart. Blackheart. Good pick. Yeah. yeah. What I don't understand is how. B. Priestley's number thirty-seven in this top one hundred women, but she was, <laughs> but she was the One Nation Radio Stardom Wrestler of the Year that year. So it's weird. That's because that was two years ago. That's how I always remember. Well, I'm, her, ju- I'm just fucking. So who who's oh, up man. next? We got uh, two picks from One Nation Radio up next. Is this one the One Nation Radio's two? next? Yes. This should be it. This is the last your last two picks. All right, we are. We are working diligently. <laughs> Actually, I think they have three more, Jeremy. We're on the 22nd okay. round, right? Yeah, they got three more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, didn't... Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Man, it's so intense. Everybody's, like, really looking for their last few picks here. Well, I'm trying to, like... I'm just kind of, like, looking at the board, trying to figure out, like, who's still available, who's not, you know? Yeah. I'm having a tough time because I, I have a match in my head that I want to do, but I'm trying to figure out if that's worth doing or if keeping a running gag is more important. <laughs> 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 and I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out if I need to stay on brand or <laughs> uh, You're definitely a dad. One nation, your your thirty seconds are up. Oh, I am for sure. Okay, so the last with the last pick of the twenty second round, One Nation Radio takes uh, Fabian Eichner and Marcel Bartel Imperium. Mm. Nice pick. Hey, who are the Violent Giants? And now uh, we got thirty more seconds. They're a tag team in All Japan Women, or All Japan Women's, All Japan Pro Wrestling. Oh, okay. I was like, should I know them? <laughs> um, no. Not necessarily. If you don't watch all Japan uh, pro wrestling, well, I won't keep want to say all Japan women's. Um, Who did you pick? Imperium Eichner and Bartel. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's a good pick. So that was that was your first pick. Uh, they picked Imperium. Right. So then that now they have one more to pick their next pick. Right? Yeah, I feel like that thirty is up. It feels that way. <laughs> 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 they got 10 seconds less than 10 we need to get it's a, like the an official it's like the royal rumble <laughs> we need to get an official timekeeper it's hard to like time keep and like research 
Uh, oh, yo, J- Jeremy, I threw that name. All right, up. with the with the uh, uh, first out. pick of of round twenty three, One Nation Radio is selecting Top Flight. Interesting. Okay, it's a good pick. Jeremy, I just like to throw it out there that or I threw Shuri's name out there. We're, we're yeah. focused on the future. Man, Top Flight, Ricochet, Bandito. Man, what's going on over here? <laughs> Swerve, man. Boy, you're up, buddy. All things elite. Floyd, I think you're on mute. I just want to thank everybody for listening to the show. I didn't think I was on mute. Can y'all hear me? Now, now, we, yeah, can. We, can. Yeah. now we can. Now we can. Okay, so I, I, I miscounted, and I, I it's like I have 11 guys on here, but I don't see the numbers aren't adding up, so I don't know what I did wrong. <sighs> you're saying you, you thought you had 11? You, See, have yeah. 10, you have 10 mail. You have 10 yeah, mail. but I have 11 written down on my sheet, mm. and I don't know who I of this 11 I didn't take, and I'm trying to – And I, oh, can't yeah, I, was, just, yeah. I was marking them off as I went along on my own sheet just to make sure that didn't happen. Yeah, and I fucked up. I <laughs> fucked up at some point. That's what I'm saying. I fucked up. I just can't figure out where I fucked Floyd up. Floyd fucked up. Floyd <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Floyd fucked so up. So it's like when we get to the last pick, I'm like, I have no idea who I'm taking because I don't know who's missing from my – uh, list. Uh, okay. Probably didn't think this person was going to take him, but it's for my tag team. So I'm just going to go ahead and take him now. Tracy Williams from ROH. Mm, that's oh, good. Interesting. Sleeper pick there. Hot sauce. Tracy Williams. Interesting. Uh, it's four or six man match. Oh, because you got you got a lethal aggression, right? You're going to do there uh, you go. You're going to do found, you go. foundation six man. That's, yeah, that's yeah, good. So. That's good. <clears throat> So now we get our picking no. for the uh, <laughs> yeah. next pick, the contingency from the eight bit suplex in keeping with the theme of outworking everyone in this draft. Here we go. Here <laughs> we, we go. Take Christian cage. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't think he got outwork Rey Mysterio. He already has. <laughs> Jay, at what? At being, <laughs> at being, looking awesome. like a normal sized human. <laughs> like because you tell me you put up like top singles matches between Rey Mysterio and, and, and Christian, I'm gonna take Rey Mysterio. You put, if you then if you want to do the who's making more money to do less work. Listen, <laughs> there's, oh, there's also that Rey, you know, Rey has listen. completely won this game. Listen. It's no secret that Rey Mysterio Jr. is my favorite wrestler, and I'm very angry that you took him. So I'm suppressing that anger by, you know, insulting him. But that's healthy. That's healthy. Yeah. Listen, Listen, I, I'm, I'm no. like 90% Irish. We suppress anger, and it bottles up. Then we die from a heart attack at 45. It's how it goes. I didn't know I was nope. Irish. Nobody's outworking Rey Mysterio as long as he's carrying Dominic. Okay. <laughs> Christian exactly. Cage outwork everyone. <laughs> All right, so keeping it strong style, we have our next pick. Josh, you want to do it? You want this is to... my pick. All right, go for this it. This is my pick. All I right. actually threw it out there. All right, go for it. We are taking Riho. <laughs> Rich going to be green. Damn you. <laughs> damn you. Damn you. Damn you. Damn you. Hey, she a draw. I'm, hey, I'm so happy because we had to, we had to come down between Riho or somebody else that I thought was is a lot better of a wrestler, and I'm just like, hopefully somebody picks her off because like she ain't been on TV. They ain't using her. They used to use her. This is feels like a waste of a pick. Thank God. Congratulations. Thank you. I applaud y'all. Thank you. Keeping the strong. Thanks, bro. Happy. Let me stop Thank clapping. It's bad for for listeners. My bad. But yeah, appreciate it. For yes. fuck the listeners. Wow. wow. Okay. What? Fuck the fans, just, right? Just, right? Fuck just the fans, clarify, right? Just to clarify, that was Josh. We don't want to go one. down that road again. That was not Josh number two of Eight Bit Suplex. That was Josh number one of keeping it strong style. <laughs> oh my God. And let's all right, so let's keep it moving. Uh it's on me. Remove all, yep. all donations from Josh and send them <laughs> over amongst the rest of the group. Hey, hold up. Hold, 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 uh... hold up, hold up. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. <laughs> This man dragging with, uh, Jeremy down. <laughs> We're going with John Silver and Mustafa Ali. Ooh, Good Mustafa's picks. a great pick. I'm surprised he wasn't picked yet. I kicked it's, him it's, around like the same time as like Ricochet, but I just I didn't pull the trigger. I was a coward. They've been buried underneath the Earth's mantle. So 
Well, let me phrase ba- saying buried because then people be like, well, that's not what buried is. If you're on TV, that means you're not buried. Okay, guy, whatever. Um, you can be on TV and be buried. I've seen it. Look, <laughs> we, we know, but you know, look, people think like, well, I, look, I know what the fuck a burial look like. Yeah. It happened to Cesaro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like strong style. Go. Last pick for keeping it strong style. We're right. taking the alley cat. No, we are not. No, no. That's- <laughs> <laughs> no, he said no. Hang on, he said the full name that counts. No, well, name. actually, her her gimmicks changed. She's now Ally Catch because he's a, a serious catch wrestler. But we are not taking Ally Cat or, or Ally Catch. Is she rolling around with uh, Simon Gotch? I, I guess so. Um, but for our last women's pick, our last overall Y'all pick. Y'all taking Matt Riddle? <laughs> no, all all our singles men are are, are all picked up. <laughs> We are taking. Y'all picking up Lufisto? <laughs> we are not. Nasco t- Tora. <laughs> nope. No. We, we're taking Peter. No, I was playing. Hold on, y'all. Right, y'all for real? It. No, we are not. No, no. she hasn't. She doesn't <laughs> wrestle. Jeremy, she hasn't wrestled once <laughs> ever. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we are we God, are Jeremy, taking go. our last pick. We're taking Jamie Hader. Oh, mm. bro, fuck you! You told me we were. No, Greg is upset. I do like you. Jamie. Told me that we were taking. Um, Who doesn't? Freaking Tessa Blanchard! Like what the fuck? Somebody already took Tess, her. Tessa has been drafted earlier by Floyd. Oh. Fine, Alexa Bliss for the purpose of, of the joke. <laughs> Yikes, <laughs> Jesus! Oh, Yikes! Man. Wait, what kind of Alexa are you getting? The zombie Alexa or the normal Alexa? This, are any of them good? I'm just <laughs> curious what I'm gonna get for the All last right, pick. Wait, are we of the eight bit suplex? This is where I struggle. This is the hardest pick I've ever had to make. Of you which, stalling. Of which there are 24. I'm not stalling. I'm setting the stage, James. I'm creating good content. Jeez. Yeah, okay. Goodness. He's a showman. The greatest one, in fact. Fuck you, Jackman. <laughs> For all you musical heads out there. Should we For, give you a drum roll? No, you don't need to. But with that our last cool. pick, the contingency oh God, of the Apex <laughs> Super. You, know, you notice how I called him out on that way ahead of time, and he still – I gave him Select. all the time to, to – to, to, Continue and he still hasn't selected. It's almost as if I was right off rip. I was about to say it, but you were still talking. Okay, go ahead. Oh, then. God, just do it. <laughs> Adam Edge Copeland. I told you he's going to drive the rich. Edge. <laughs> Edge. Old. Hey, r- real quick, can uh, somebody help us out here on the board? Because I'm seeing that we have one pick left, but I thought we just picked all of our categories. Exactly. That's where I'm running. Somebody could, someone look at mine too. Wait, what's going on? No, you're good. You're done. No, nope, it's all good. I'm no, done? no, no. He's always got one pick. We got a pick, and it's over. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I was looking. Sorry, my eyes. Oh. My eyes are tripping. I was looking at like it looked like my pick was okay. All right, it's good. This okay. man got Edge and Christian. That's hilarious. I don't know what I got left, and I'm trying to figure it out. And I don't have a second pair of eyes. I think you got all one right. pick left. So you got, you got one no, man you, left. You got a men's singles left. All That's right, it. Randy Orton. Whoa. Wow. Hmm. Well, I'm glad we didn't take him this time. Rich mute. This is a liberation. He called me out for stalling, and then they're going to mute for the last <laughs> pick of the draft. Come on. Yeah, what's, what's that about? Jeez. I hate that. All right. Last pick of the draft. We are t- Well, it was down to three people. Uh, the last pick of the draft for One Nation Radio, actually for the entire draft, we are taking Mrs. Irrelevant Mako Satamora. Hmm. Ooh. Oh wow! You, you, you mean the number one how contender did, did for the get... NXT UK Women's Championship? Yes, one of yeah. you know, <laughs> yes, like one of the best wrestlers of the last twenty years. Yes, we'll, we'll she's going to lose. She's going to lose to the uh, current NXT UK champion who was not drafted, Kaylee Ray. Nah, this, she's she's taking. She's been kicking her head off this time. It's done. I don't know. She didn't have her lose the first time to come lose again after coming back up the mountain. That would be yeah, that would be had terrible. That a long time. Yeah, We're talking exactly. about NXT UK. I mean, they don't switch those. They don't, they don't. They don't ever. They don't ever switch move, those belts. Uh, Kaylee Ray to America eventually. Right. That's it. That's the whole idea behind it. All right. Well, that in- yeah. concludes the wrestler portion of the draft. So all twenty-four 
rounds complete for the draft. We all have our men, our women, and our tag teams. The last thing we got to do now is our play-by-play and our color commentary. So let us deliberate. <clears throat> More deliberation by One Nation <laughs> Radio. Calling Nate Bit Suplex out for stalling. But you know what? I know exactly who I'm going to take. 8-Bit's ready. Always ready. I don't know if it... For play-by-play, play, we are taking Kevin Kelly. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the la- you're the last in the snake row. There's no way you're getting Kevin Kelly. Right. <laughs> well, my issue is I legit get uh, play-by-play play and color commentator mixed up all the time. So okay. this is actually oh, the most I- stressful part for me because I- <laughs> I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do Excalibur. He's play-by-play, play, right? Yes. I was going to say, he sometimes does color on the other show, so I'm just making sure. So that's what misses, messes me up, because some people do both sometimes. They switch. Jim Ross is really the only one that really switches. Uh, for my play-by-play, play, I'm going to be selecting Mauro Ranallo. That's a great pick. Strong style. I, I'm leaving it up to Jeremy. I don't know. Whoever you want. Whoever you want to take, because I don't even know. <laughs> All right. I wish we would have prepped for this. I wasn't ready. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> well, for our play-by-play, we're, we're going to have a little international flair for our commentary. For our play-by-play, we are taking Milano Collection AT. <laughs> I don't even know if he does play-by-play or not. I hope he does. I don't know. I hear him calling moves. <laughs> <laughs> That's play by play by definition, right? <laughs> Man. I guess uh, I think the big show is play by play, right? Can I get him? His commentary. Yes. He's, he's I'm going to get big show. You mean Paul White? Paul, Paul White. White. Excuse me. <laughs> That's W-I-G-H-T. No, no more BS, pal. I don't want to. You're holding me to a high standard, and I appreciate that. Greg, you got to do your uh, your other one now. Um, I'm just going to go, I guess, Taz. Got it. No, that's two color guys, right? Uh, I thought Paul was uh, play-by-play. Paul was color, uh, oh, and uh, Tony Schiavone is the play-by-play, and then Taz is the color for Excalibur. Well, thank you. I will go Tony Schiavone. Uh, Milano Collection AT is a color commentator. Yes, he is. He's color? Yes. Okay. He's colored. <laughs> <laughs> well, who are you going for play-by-play, Josh? Can we just say we're taking New Japan's play-by-play Japanese commentator? You could have the DC look up his name. Well, there's like three of them. Name, name them. I know the three. Shinpei Nogami. Yeah, Shinpei Nogami is their main play by play guy. Right. So let's let's just take him. All right. How do you spell his name? Because Haru is the one that does like the house shows and like does like basically everything except for the big shows of New Japan. Like he does like all Japan. He does stardom. He does all pretty much all the Joshi. He does like DDT and Noah. Um Shinpei Nogami. I uh you'd have to look it up. I got it. But that's who that's who we got. We're good. For color commentary, because of his work on Impact last year, prior to the uh, Kenny Omega storyline, I will be taking Don Callis. Yes! Yes! Damn. I did not want no fucking Don Callis on my thing. Call him the fucking Kenny Omega. Jen is the only man. person on earth that don't like Don Callis. I don't, Don Callis want, I don't want to have, in theory, the only Kenny person Omega. on earth. Uh, no, no. I do not want Kenny Omega on a match. Like, I love Callis, except when he's calling. Omega match. He's insufferable. That's the best it. part. <laughs> That's the worst part. He's annoying. <laughs> Fuck off. That's the best part. Like you, you wouldn't say this about Bobby Heenan and Ric Flair. I hate and, 80s wrestling, so I don't know what to tell you. I know uh, you're gonna say it's early 90s, but I, no, before 92, uh, whatever. Go that way. Uh, AEW you can complete the AEW Dark Team because it's my favorite commentary team with Taz. Ah, damn it. Yep. And it worked out how I thought it was going to work out. Rich? Deliberation on on the last uh, commentator. 
Well, you know, you got to figure out everything, I guess, step by step, instead of talking about it before you get to your pick. Are they yeah, getting Rocky yeah, Romero? Are they getting Rocky Romero? <clears throat> Rocky's a good pick. Rock. I would. Uh, there's another name. I, I will. I'll wait till they're done to drop. But uh, they should yeah. do the strong team. One Asia Radio for color will take Nigel McGinnis. Mm. Ooh, that's a great pick. Forgot great he existed. Pick. I mean, we yeah. had that pick prepared the whole time. We just wanted to verify. <laughs> It's better than Don Callis. I, sure. I want it exactly, exactly, Josh. I would rather have. I would want a Nigel. He's like, what about Callis? Like, bro, I don't want a Nigel. I don't I don't want Callis. Call no Omega match. Fuck off. I'm uh, man, uh, go ahead, Flo. Uh, man, I was uh, like, he said Taz. I was like, okay, I can stop him. I was hoping nobody else took Taz. <laughs> Taz has been the best. I wanted the dark team. That's all I was like. I just want the dark team. I don't even how, how has uh, Samoa Joe been, though? Because I, I actually haven't listened. Joe would have been great. Joe, yeah, but I, Joe I almost great. went Joe. I almost even, went Joe. Even, even while being on the main roster and dealing with that nonsense, he was doing great. Hey, not active. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you got to remember, we're talking about as far as play-by-play. Yeah. He, he's not active as play-by-play. He's yeah. fired. He, wa- yeah, well, he was well in the last <laughs> year. Well, okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> that man gone. All right, so wait, so wait, wait, if we're doing that, then why is Daniel Bryan? Well, never mind. I get you. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Whatever. It's it's different for announcers than than the actual wrestlers. All right. So that that wraps yeah. up the draft. Do we want to all go go through and recap all of our picks? Yeah, let's go ahead and um, you know, give do like a minute each on. You know, our rosters. All right, so One Nation, go ahead. Yeah, yeah um, One Nation Radio. Uh, I think our men's roster is, is pretty good. We have Kenny Omega. We have John Moxley. We have Walter. We have Johnny Gargano. Um, we have Darby Allen. We have Isaiah Swerve Scott. We have Tetsuya Naito as the seventh. Uh, <laughs> we have we have Pete Dunne. We have Ricochet. We have Tyler Bate. We have Bandito. We have, and we have Rey Mysterio Jr. to round out our men's um, section of the singles um, with, with the women uh, singles we have Mayu Watani we have Thunder Rosa we have oh I'm trying to blank on where we are now um, we Rhea have Ripley. Rhea Ripley yeah thank you for catching me up I completely lost track of where we were on here we have <laughs> Azia Mazumi uh, we have Shuri and we have Mako Satamora um, with our tag teams we have Les Sex Gods Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara we have MGF and Wardlow. We have Tommaso Ciampa and Timothy Thatcher. We have the Street Profits. We have Imperium, Fabian Eichner, and Marcel Bartel. And we have Top Flight, Darius Martin, and Dante Martin. Ultimate versatility, high flying, ass beating, main event wrestling, crazy um, risk takers, and bright stars mostly um, that are on the way up. Solid, solid crew right and, there. And, and Naito, who's on the way down, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, stop hating. Let's move on. All, all things. You elite. didn't take them. All things yeah. elite. <laughs> Y'all could show them love. They're keeping it strong style. We, uh, we went with the, what arguably has been the best wrestler in the world this year, Will Ospreay. Then we got the most <laughs> versatile wrestler in the world, Cody Rhodes. What? <laughs> Pac. We got uh we got an amazing wrestler Pac. Uh I did I would this time I built a card and I ended up with all my favorites, which is weird. Uh Drew McIntyre, uh Lance Archer, lo- love big Lance, uh Hangman Page, Kushida, which I was actually shocked he was still there, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, which I just took because I know this he was available, Santos Escobar. A shocking pick, Tracy Williams, but again, I'm building a card. And then Randy Orton. Uh, for my women, I went with the role models, both Bailey and Britt Baker. And then I went with two really giant women, as in Raquel Gonzalez and Jay Gar- Cargill. They are giants and have giant personalities. Then I went with uh, the probably most improved wrestler of the last year, Tay Conti. And I went with the ever controversial Tessa Blanchard. And for my tag teams, I went with my favorite tag team and the best tag team in the world, FTR. Then I went with. <laughs> I had to hear it, the young boss died. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, uh, don't drop them on their head. Don't worry. Um, then I went with exciting young high flying tag team to match up against FTR MSK. Uh, then I went with Jonathan Gresham and Jay Lethal because uh, Black Lives Matter. Uh, tag team uh, number four is Joaquin Wild and uh, Raul Mendoza uh, from Legado del Fantasma. I went with Kira Hogan and Tasha Steels because I just kind of love everything about their act. And Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart because I wanted some women that will do some crazy shit. So I'm looking for uh, I think I got a good uh, roster here to make a good card. Please have Jay Cargill powerbomb Shotzi Blackheart off of like the top of the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's at least a 33 and a third percent chance that Shotzi Blackheart will die during a match. <laughs> Then you add in another 33 and a third if it's against Raquel Gonzalez. <laughs> and then you take that and you add that to the 50% chance that she has of getting injured. I don't know where I was going with that. But that was some <laughs> That was some math. All right, 8-Bit. Yeah, so I don't know what Floyd was talking about shit about best tag teams because I got them in their name of the Young Bucks. Then I got the Lucha Bros. Then I go Rapunky 3K, Grizzled Young Vets, Jurassic Express with the team of... Man, you got two two teams better than FTR? God damn. I'm pretty sure I just named named five of them, actually. I'm pretty sure. Uh, And then my last tag team are the Motor City Machine Guns, also better than FTR. And then, uh, you know, men's division uh, was one that I, I kind of... I figured I could get some good value picks, so I didn't prioritize that as much. I was trying to hit the... Uh, the tag and the women wrestlers that I wanted, uh, but I think I still came out pretty good here with Kota Ibushi, Miro, Ryu Lee, Adam Cole, Elio Duffagingo, Kevin Owens, Eddie Edwards, Alistair Black, Chris Bay, Powerhouse Hobbs, Christian Cage, and Edge. And then for the women, uh, you know, the EST, Bianca Belair, Momo Watanabe, Hikaru Shida, Jordan Grace. Charlotte Flair and B Priestley. So pretty, pretty happy with what I got. Uh, I'm sad to say that my best friend, uh, uh, Tommy well Dreamer, rounded. Tommy Dreamer was not drafted. I apologize, Tommy. Uh, I'll look for your message in my Twitter <laughs> later. Um, but it just, it, listen, it had to be this way. But I'm, uh, I'm happy with my first ever social suplex draft. Nice. So. If it's okay, I'll do the honors, reading it for keeping a strong style. The returning champions to this year's draft. Uh, we had Brian Danielson, Shingo Takagi, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Andrade, the chaos team of Ishii and Goto, Hiromu Takahashi, Kyle O'Reilly, Jay Waito, Cesaro, Zack Sabre Jr., Minoru Suzuki, Kento Miyahara, Nick Gage, uh, the United Empire team of Jeff Cobb and the Great Okan, Julia, Strong BJ, Tam Nakano, Karistico and Mystico, Arisa Nakajima, The Violent Giants, The Best Friends, Starlight Kid, Riho, and Jamie Hayter. And our show will be called by Shimpei Nogami and Milano Collection AT. Elite level drafting. Boom. And last but not least, <clears throat> grave consequences. I think I'm pretty happy with my draft. Uh, Caleb had to leave halfway through, uh, but we started off with Okada. We got Roman Reigns, Io Shirai, Sasha Banks, Proud and Powerful, Kofi, uh, Kingston and uh, Woods. We got Asuka, Utami, Hayashita, Orange Cassidy, Finn Balor, uh, G.O.D., War Raiders, or Viking, whatever they're called in, in WWE. Uh, we got Brian Cage, Sami Zayn. Finn Juice and the Acclaimed, Eddie Kingston, Shinsuke Nakamura, Konami, Shayna Baszler, Keith Lee, Bobby Lashley, Mustafa Ali, and John Silver. And it will be uh, announced by Tony Schiavone and Paul White. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 awesome, Social Suplex Fancy Draft. Guys, man, this was a very competitive draft this year, man. The gloves yeah, everyone, are off. Uh, everyone had different strategies, and you know, we all... Uh, I think it's cool. Like we all cover different programming. So like there's a lot of, uh, you know, different angles kind of, you know, to uh, how we looked at we were drafting. And I thought it was uh, everyone came out looking pretty good. I think so. I think we could all have a good match, Um, a good card. 
Yeah, I think all the cards are going to be pretty good. It's going to be interesting to see, like, um, you know, some of the main event matches that are, that are there. Uh, I'd be, I, I think I'm going to play around with uh, the rosters of other people's and make mock cards and uh, <laughs> stuff like that to see what I can come up with. But uh, I can assure you, One Nation Radio did not come to lose. So that's right. That's the next part of this draft. Uh, each team will put together a fantasy card, and then we'll get it out there for you guys, listeners, to vote on. I just wanted to point out that, like, uh, when we first started this, um, the first year, we would we would look around and be like, okay, yeah, you know, we have woman X, woman Y, um, Joshi or whatever else, and then you look at it, it's like half the rosters are basically filled with Joshi. <laughs> it's like, it's like the bar has been raised so high thanks to uh, like you know, the, just the fact that like we decided to get off our asses and, and do some research and look around and see what's, what's available. So I, I think that's really cool. Like the days of drafting Carmella or some shit are long fucking gone. Never again. <laughs> yeah. Alexa Bliss not drafted. Uh, we, we, we should look at some of the people that, uh, that weren't drafted uh, for various reasons. Um, uh, like all the uh, big E, I don't think I saw go anywhere. Sideline. Um, Mustafa Ali. No, Ali, Ali, got, um, Ali got drafted. No, he got drafted. Oh, he did. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> Eugene Nagata is still there. Uh, I think a go-go like, is probably a year away from breaking into this thing. Damian Priest uh, was not drafted. Dustin Rhodes hanging out there, not drafted. Um, QT Marshall, Sonata, for that matter. QT. Go, go Shizaki. Uh, I, I think that's more about visibility than Did anything just, else. Sheamus. Time out, time out, time out. Did you just say Yuji Nagata, Damian Priest, Keith Lee, or no, not Keith Lee, and then somebody else, and then you added QT Marshall to that list? <laughs> You're <What>? damn right. <laughs> I, I threw that name out. I threw that name out there, James, because I knew that Rich was going to take the bait. It's time to end the podcast right now, I think. <laughs> I, I, think that's, I think it's time to do the sign off, say goodbye, because that was wow. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know you can follow <laughs> us, the Social Suplex Podcast Network. Make sure you're subscribed so you can listen to all your favorite shows right here on the network feed. Be on the lookout for the second part of the draft episode where we'll each um, list out our match cards for our fantasy shows and then look out for the voting and how you can vote for this year's fantasy draft champion. So we'll see you guys then. Spring is a great time to make updates to your home's exterior. A new roof, replacing old windows, or even adding on a new deck. Think of Lowe's first. From personalized plans to top-notch products and installation, we take the guesswork out of making your project ideas come to life. Book a free consultation today by visiting Lowe's.com slash get installed and let Lowe's do the work for you. Installed by independent contractors. See Lowe's.com slash get installed for details and licensing. U.S. only.